Good morning. It's 5.45. The reason that it's 5.45 is because I've been sitting in bed for 45 minutes watching TikToks. <laughs> Great. This is my first vlog ever. I don't know what this is going to entail yet, so we'll just figure it out as we go. Let's ride. Lately, I've just been satisfied with less sleep. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it just means I'm psychotic or what, but I go to sleep at like 10 or 11, wake up at like 4 or 30 on the dot. Yeah. no furniture in my apartment yet. So that's why it looks so empty. Just thought I would put that PSA out there. I am working with an interior designer. And so we are going through the whole thing together. So in the next like two or three months, this is gonna be a really fun process. Just like decorating and designing and just selecting like really cool pieces. I'm so excited. Mm, just stop yawning. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna do my skincare. And then my coffee will be ready. So I'm gonna just dive right into some work. I have curriculum that I'm writing for my new program that I'm releasing. And that just takes so much brain power and focus. So I always save that work for right when I wake up in the morning. I also have a mic for myself that I'm gonna set up so that the sound quality improves because I can already tell that the, the sound quality is gonna be shitty if I don't use it. So hopefully throughout the day, the videos will just keep getting better and better. Okay, I think I was connecting this to the wrong port. You're kidding. Is NB. table that I used years ago when I was first developing PBA, so it looks like this. I have to tell you, one time I was seen at my, I don't know, like you can call me my boyfriend. <laughs> But anyways, I was over at his house and we were getting into the shower and he, I was like, I entered the shower through the front and he was like, why are you getting in the shower that way? Like, that's so aggressive. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I realized that he was so right. Like, I grew up, my childhood home was like old and so the shower, <laughs> the only way you could get into it was through the front where the water was coming from. And because of that, like I just grew up always entering the shower from the front of it. And it's, he's right, it is so aggressive. And now I'm like self-conscious that I do that, but it's just like habit. You know what's funny is I still talk to him to this day. <sighs> oh 
almost every man that I've like been out with or dated or had an almost relationship with, because I still like really haven't been in a serious relationship as an adult, um, I'm friends with all of them. Each one of them called me on Thanksgiving and said, love you, just wanna see how you're doing, check in with you, wanna make sure you're doing okay. All of the, the men that I've dated in my life, I'm still so close with. It's like, it just goes to show, I feel like I select really quality people in my life. Like I pride myself on that. But what I've realized too is that I just haven't found my match. So I went to Lulu. I had to get a jacket and some gloves so that I could actually run in the morning or try to run. More like walk, more like power walk actually. Oh man, I'm just like a makeshift set up, but it does the trick. Totally get that. I have everyone always needing something from me all the time. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, no, but sure. You know, and the little yappy dog. I am about to go head into making dinner. I'm heating some stuff up. My Amy's bowl of mushrooms and grains and carrots and I don't even know, broccoli. Added some avocado. Mmm, yum. I am about to hop onto my mastermind call. My mastermind call. That is just so awesome to hear. Being involved in PBA and then continuing to be involved with you all, quite honestly, um, really helped me um, stay calm, you know, stay focused on, on some type of work, some type of action. And, and also, you know, I think it kept me really positive. The feedback that I got from you all, the Atta Girls, the confirmation that I do have a good message and people want to hear what I have to say. I think that really kept me in the right frame of work to find that opportunity. So I really want to thank all of you for what you contributed to my job search. <laughs> Hi, we meet again. <laughs> oh, wow. Taking my makeup off. My jewelry off. And then I'm gonna take a shao shao to um, FaceTime my new friend who I met on TikTok. <laughs> I've never felt less alone in my entire life. <laughs> I'm serious, it's crazy. Like when you're sharing yourself and you're sharing your life so openly, I mean, there's pros and cons to that, right? We can get into the cons later, but the pros way outweigh the cons in my opinion. I think it depends on your personality too, but it's, it's like a magnet. It attracts other people who also value the same things and who care about the same things you do. And so it's easy to make friends. I posted something today that I really liked. I actually heard it from a podcast. It's the guy who was talking said something along the lines of like, the vision is value enough. The value is actually in having a direction at all. So few people actually have a clear direction for their life for their business. So if you have that, that is, it's a gift. The destination is far less important because you evolve and you grow along the way. <sighs> so just reflecting on that tonight, subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching.